Hey, this is Ace here with Hillbilly How Tos. Um, so yes, it is true. Um, I have tested positive for COVID nineteen. Um, very shocked. Um, so just to tell you kind of the backstory, uh, someone at my work tested positive last weekend. So they decided to test the whole department, um, and they found another positive. So then they decided to test the whole floor, which I'm on that same floor, and they found quite a few positives, um, which me being one of them. Um, had no symptoms. Um, so when I, I got the phone call that I was positive, I was uh, very shocked. Um, thought it was a joke at first. Um, that was on Tuesday. This is uh, Saturday. I still haven't had any symptoms. Uh, when they first told me, I kind of freaked out. You know, when somebody tells you you're um, sick and you don't feel sick, uh, you start questioning, uh, am I really sick and I've just been too busy to notice? Or, uh, like, this is um, this is crazy. Uh, most of them you don't go to the doctor unless you're, you're feeling bad, and I'm not feeling bad and wasn't then either. Um... And you start thinking, too, uh, am I going to get sick? Um, when they told me that first 24 hours, you know, if I had one little cough or my head started hurting a little bit or any of any of the symptoms, like, started thinking, like, is uh, the sickness coming on? Like, am I fixing to get deathly sick? They just told me that, you know, I've got this virus in my body, like, I was uh, freaking out a little bit. Um, now it's you know been a few days. I'm still feeling just fine. Uh, it's really strange that we're having so many people from one extreme to the other. You know, I've got two friends uh, that I work with that tested positive, also having no symptoms. Um, but then I know another guy that's in the hospital uh, fighting for his life. So. You go from, you know, from a scale from 0 to 10, from all these people at a 0 with no symptoms, and then you've got people that die, you know, or at a 9 or a 10 on a scale. Um, never seen a virus uh, do something like that. Um, that's really weird. You know, if I was at a, say, a 5, um, and you know, an elderly person or someone with underlying health conditions was at, you know, a nine, then it would make more sense that, you know, I'm younger and my body's, you know, taking a little bit better. You know, I'm just kind of at a, an average sickness, but I'm at a zero. Um, and then, you know, other people are, are dying. Um, so that's very weird. Um, leave your, uh, your comments below, kind of what you think. Um, if you haven't had the test, uh, it's not a fun test. Um, you stick a, a Q-tip that's um, about, say, this long up your nose. Um, basically, it feels like they touch your eyeball. Um, and now they're telling me I'm going to have to go back and get tested again because I've got to have a negative result before I'm allowed to go back to work. Um, fortunately, I do have a job that I can work from home. So I am still uh, working and getting paid, but um, not looking forward to uh, taking the test again. Um, just want to make a, a short video. Uh, it seems like the, the virus results are exploding in the United States right now, so the numbers are going up. I think yesterday it was like close to 40,000 in one day. Um, so they are um, going up a lot, but I completely understand why they're going up. I mean, if you don't have any symptoms, if they tested everyone in America tomorrow, you know, how many people actually has this? Because I would have never went to the doctor um, and even got tested if I wasn't forced to. Um, so it's really weird. Um, you know, I even wonder, is the, is the test accurate? Um, is it giving a lot of false positives? Um, and I don't even have it. Um, 
kind of wondering like whenever I go back and test. I'm going to wait at least a good two weeks before I go back and, and do this again. Um, but I'm really wondering if I'll still test positive or, or you know, I will get a, a negative result. Um, leave your comments. Um, thank you very much for watching. You'll have a good one.